Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another React Native Firebase tutorial. Today I'll be going over Firebase in-app messaging and how you can go about implementing in-app messaging with React Native. So if you have an app or perhaps you're planning on developing an app and you'd like to send push messages to your users every now and then when they log into your app, let's say you have a promo for a certain uh, product coming up, you can use in-app messaging as a tool to keep your users informed and it's quite easy to set up too. So for today's tutorial, I've already set up my React Native Android app. Let's first get started by creating a new Firebase project. And then we'll give it a name, we'll call it in-app messaging. Click continue, we'll enable Google Analytics for this project. Then we'll go ahead and select an account and create our Firebase project. And then while that is loading, let's go ahead and visit uh, React Native Firebase and we'll go on the Get Started section and we'll add this package to our application. So that is done installing. Let's head back to our Firebase console. Our project is already set up as well. And then here we'll add a new Android app. And then the package name for our Android app, we'll get that in our Android project. So we'll go into the Android folder, then go into app, source, main, and then click on the Android manifest file. And our package name will be here in the manifest tag. So we'll go ahead and copy that and then paste it in there. And then we can give our app a nickname or we can skip that. And I'll go ahead and register the app. And then we'll download our uh, config file. So we'll put that in our Android project. So going back into the folder, we'll go to Android and then app, we'll click save. And then while we're in our Firebase console, we'll scroll all the way down to in-app messaging. So this is the dashboard we'll use to send in-app messages. And then let's head back to React Native Firebase. And then here, what we'll have to do is scroll all the way down to uh, in-app messaging. There we go, we'll click on usage. So here it says uh, we're required to add uh, analytics as well, the analytics module. So we installed the app module of React Native Firebase. So let's go ahead and install the analytics module as well. So we'll go on back on the left, we'll click on analytics usage. And then we'll go ahead and add this to our project as well. And then we can also copy the in-app messaging. Let's go ahead and copy that. So we'll give that a minute to install first. Then we'll add in-app messaging module as well. And then to continue with this setup, let's head back to get started. And if you continue scrolling down, we have the Android setup. So what we first need to do is copy the class path that we have here and add it to dependencies section of our build.gradle file. So I'll do it in my VS code. Then under dependencies, we'll add that. And then we also need to add this line here to our app build.gradle file. So in the app folder, build.gradle, and we'll add that. And then that should be it. Once the package is done installing, which it is, we'll go ahead and build our Android app and run it again. And then once the build is done, we'll go ahead and run this in our simulator once more. Then from here, we should be able to actually send our first in-app message. So there's no additional code that we need to write. We can start uh, using in-app messaging in Firebase. So we'll go ahead and create our first campaign. 
and we just uh, still need to wait for this to launch in our uh, simulator here. But in the meantime, we'll just have this uh, page opened as well. So I'll give my simulator a second. Now, uh, let me run npm start here. And let's just reload our application once that's up. There we go. So we have our app there, and then let's uh, set up our first uh, push message. Uh, we'll keep the background white, text color as it is, message title will say hello world, and then the message will be this is my first in app push message, we'll just copy that, and then I'll use this image as the image there, just wait for it to load. And there we go, and then we can also add like our, our button text. So we'll say OK. Then you can leave uh, this option if you want to if you want to use the button as a dismiss uh, action. And then we'll click Next. And then our target here will select our Android app that we set up. And then here we'll give our campaign a name. We'll say Test. We'll click Next. And then we'll select the scheduling. Click Next there. Uh, next as well and then review and publish and then once it's live we can just give our app a minute for the pop-up to actually display so let's close our app and then try reopening it again and there we go so as you can see we have our in-app message uh, being displayed and that's how you'd go about implementing Firebase uh, messaging in React Native. Hope this was helpful. If you like the videos, please be sure to check out some of the other content that I have on this channel. Thank you.